This weekend I went to go see The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. This is the Mackenzie Foy starring movie. She's been in uh, several other things, but smaller parts. She was in Interstellar, played one of uh, Matthew McConaughey's daughters, I think. Um, and I guess Kara Knightley could be starring this. Morgan Freeman's on the poster. He's in the movie for like five minutes. Let's just get this out of the way right now. This movie is not good. It's, it's quite bad. It was hard to sit through. When we got home, I had to just... We had to watch a good Disney movie because it was just, uh, just even thinking about it and doing this review. It's not one of the movies like I could make fun of and have a good time reviewing. It's just, it was just boring. It was so boring, but um, I'll give it my best go. Basically, Mackenzie Foy's character, um, her mother is dead, and um, I guess she died a year ago is what it seemed like. It's Christmas time. She gets a package from her dead mother it's an egg and it has a lock in it and then she goes to this party where her godfather is and her godfather um knows where the key is i guess and shows her how to go into this completely other dimension um where uh her mother used to be when she was a child and <laughs> um yeah and that's about the gist of it she's in there looking for the key there's these the the fairy of sweets and all that goof, goofy stuff carrie knightley yeah she's the sweets one and it's just it was all over the place it had like a little bit of like an alice in wonderland feel to it or um narnia kind of feel to it but not in a good way um and it just it just dragged and dragged and dragged and it was so boring and I didn't know this at the time but when I was reading about it later on apparently this movie had a lot of issues during production and they brought in Joe Johnson to come in and kind of add some action-y scenes and you can definitely tell because it just all of a sudden becomes an action movie at points. Um, the dialogue's bad. Karen Knightley at the beginning like her, her, I was like okay she's got an annoying voice whatever but towards the end she starts to get weirdly like sexual for some reason and I wasn't the only one that noticed that it was just weird the dialogue like I said it's bad it's all over the place and it just it just kind of putters out and then you're just like what did I just watch um it's boring the special effects were okay I guess um the music the Nutcracker music is like in the background at times. Like I said, Morgan Freeman's barely in this movie. He plays our godfather. He's in it at the beginning to just go be like, go into this portal and then that's it. Uh, um, they have this little clock scene or little carousel scene thing. But for the most part, he's barely in it. And um, some, like I said, the Nutcracker's dialogue, bad. Um, all the little fairy characters and things. Some of the people that were in this movie, too, you're like, oh my gosh, what did Disney do to you? Um, but speaking of Disney, it is weird how sometimes Disney can make some truly atrocious bombs of a movie. I mean, A Wrinkle in Time, I feel like had better production values than this movie, um, but they're both on the same level. I mean, these, these two movies will probably be at my worst of the year list. Um, and that's crazy. If it's not like a Marvel or a Pixar or an animated movie, Disney's kind of all over the place with their kind of original IP stuff. So, um, yeah, do not see this movie. I don't really, I don't even know. I don't think, it, I think it would be too boring for kids because there's not a lot of, like, kitty kind of stuff going on. Everybody I went and saw with it was, said it was crap. So, I just, I wouldn't recommend it. And we're getting a bunch of cool, like, Grinch is getting ready to come out. We're getting Wreck-It Ralph, you know. I just feel like there's going to be more family films to go see and I think Disney knew this and that's why they put it out the week after Halloween and it's just going to disappear. So uh, Nutcracker in the Four Realms, I guess I'm going to give it a one star um, just because, I mean, it looked all right and I guess Mackenzie Foy was okay. Um, other than that, I just, I don't know what the point of this movie was. So yeah, one out of five. Until next time, this is Rainy Cage. Peace out.